looked better while I was making them, I was right. Hi, my name is Kiara again and today I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to a studio. I'm really excited about this one. I'm going to a pottery studio today. <gasps> I've always wanted to do pottery. Like if you guys know me, I've always wanted to try it out. Um, I literally tell this to everyone. And it was in my vision board recently that I really wanted to try pottery. That's what I'm doing today. I'm taking you guys along with me. Other than that, I've been really interested in taking up different classes. I've been signing up for fitness classes. Oh my god. I don't know. Oh my god. I feel like a lot of things are changing. I have a new room. I'm trying new things. And obviously, I have to organize my life in some cohesive way. You guys know I use Notion all the time for my group works, for my personal life, for planning my different expenses, my budgeting. I have had like a significant amount of change on my Notion and I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use Notion, an updated Notion tour. So yeah, let's go. So I am gonna show you guys my workspace. So like how I organize my life, my headspace, uni space. I use my weekly agenda fairly often. See, there's like pottery over here. Basically my weekly to-do. And then it has like the weather. I'm just gonna go over this really quickly and here are my different classes and my different things to do. And so my month at the class is over here. It is kind of synced with my Google Calendar. I'm just going over like a quick overview because I have the full tour linked down below. My university tab. And then I have all my learning resources here and then my classes, my schedule. So over here is like my college master plan and then the end of junior year is in three weeks. And then I have my classes over here. So for my classes, for each class, I have my instructor's name and their email. So if you click on it like this, you can get like the emails and like the syllabus and the links. I usually do this at the start of every sem, so I don't have to like keep going back on my school's website. So I just like to have something centralized over here. You guys have seen my personal Notion, but I actually use Notion way more nowadays besides the weekly agenda for group works, for team meetings, for org work. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the Notion pages I have for different groups. So this is one of them. I guess I'll show you guys this one. So this is essentially a template that you can find on Notion. This was Team Home. This is from the other staff. It's so amazing, like especially when you have group work and then you need to like put all your documents in one place. Essentially, you can use Notion with your group members, with your friends, when you're planning for trips, when you're planning for group works, finishing deadlines, all that stuff. It's more than just taking notes, it's more than just organizing your life. You can literally collaborate with people, which is why I love Notion so much. We have our Google Drive link, Figma, GitHub for programming. We usually use the meeting notes. This is the one that we use a lot. You can see there are different icons over here. There's, these are my group mates. We take down notes while having meetings and it's nice to have like a centralized place for all of this stuff. I'll show you my other um, group works. So we have like different deadlines, um, who's working on what. If you are not using Notion for your group works, especially for those big projects that you really need to have like everything, you're missing out. You're missing out. That's what I'm gonna say. I genuinely love how Notion is so customizable. It caters to your team's needs. It's a centralized place for everything. You can literally organize your whole life on Notion. And you guys can check the link in my description box to sign up for Notion today. If you want to check it out, I also have my template down below which you can copy and then export to your Notion. I love seeing when you guys duplicate my Notion. It makes me feel all warm inside. So yeah, thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring today's video. So we're gonna check out the studio now. I'm gonna be meeting up with my friends Maddie and Jack. We're gonna be taking a wheel throwing one-on-one -on -one class together. I've never tried wheel throwing and it's something that I've really, really wanted to do ever since. So yeah, let's go to the studio. Okay guys, I just got to Boomi and Ash. I'm kind of late because I woke up late because I was out yesterday and also doing homework and stuff. So yeah, I'm looking for it. I don't know where it is, but my friends are here. I'm gonna be spending my day with Jack and Maddie. Oh, I found it, it's so cute, wait. Um, hi 
Kasi sobra siya na excited.
Mother's Day. Um, andito kami sa Farmer's Market. Ayun. Meron po bang ibang balot to? Ay, meron po. I got a Spanish latte and you got the Mar Marja something. Yung kinuha niya kasi mix ng Americano and lemonade. It's good nonetheless. It's like a local coffee barista. Like you would pay for the ambiance staying there. We're on the way home. I'm gonna be showing you guys the pots that I made. Hi guys! It's a few days later. I got too lazy to film. So I got the different boxes. I already opened them up because I had to show my friends what they look like. So I have three boxes of our different works that we made. And so these are the things that I made. And let me tell you, when I thought they looked better while I was making them, I was right. Because they did not turn out the way that I expected them to. I made a shot glass. Now let me tell you, and this was bigger when I made it. My initial reaction was, um, she really thought she was do, doing something with the um, flower thing. And then for the next thing that I made, I made this mug. I thought it would turn out blue-green. When I saw it, I was like, wait a minute, is this even mine? It's kind of very wonky, like it's very slanted and like, I have no idea what's going on here. And the one thing that I really didn't like is how the paint is very like translucent. I really like the pottery part and surprisingly I didn't like the painting part because I thought this would turn out blue-green. <laughs> and apparently like they dry differently when you put them through a kiln. Honestly, if I were to like do it again, I wouldn't paint on it. I think I would just like have it glaze as this beautiful white color and then afterwards I would paint on it with my own paints. You don't really have that much time. You don't have like the liberty of time to do something very Picasso, you know because you only have like one hour to paint and two hours to do the pottery. It's a bowl. I think the bowl is so cute. Like the shape is so cute. It was really cute until this happened. Like what is that? Like I, I got a stick and I went around and then apparently it broke off here and I thought it would like be salvaged, but no. I put like these little like eyes on it because I thought it'd be like quirky, but then it turned out to look very scratchy, which sucks, but I think it's really cute. Like you could put like your jewelry in here. I also really like my friends' works. Theirs were so cute, but then they use like this pink paint to like splatter like dots on it. And then it ended up looking like pita bread. So these are the two other shot glasses that my friends made. This is Jax. It has her name on it. I would honestly prefer it if I just made something like this, like very plain and just put like my letters on it. But we were being ambitious. This one's so cute. It looks like a volcano. Um, we honestly thought the paint was pink. It ended up looking like a burrito. And I'll just flash on the screen like the different ones that we made. I think that they're so cute. Honestly, like it was a good experience, but it was very expensive and I wish I had more time to paint and like make it better than it actually was. I want to do more pottery in the future. I've always wanted to try a ceramics class and you know, I want to try more in the future or maybe one day have like my own little wheel that you can buy in like Shopee or something. So that was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.